guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Cynthia Lee, and tonight I'm going to be doing a cook with me video like you just saw. So tonight we are having some salmon that we found at um, Martin's, and I'll show you guys in that in one second. And we're also gonna have some asparagus, um, baked asparagus. I'm gonna show you how I made that. So this is what we found with salmon. Um, it's already been marinated in, um, in Cajun sauce. So um, I might do another cooking, cook with me video um, to do this chicken tomorrow night because um, I really need to cook that but we just got the salmon last night and I love salmon. So we're having that tonight and I'm also going to be baking this asparagus right here and Dustin is going to be my cameraman today and show you guys like everything. Sorry, it just got really dark. But I'm gonna use this asparagus. Yes, you're only supposed to like, not only, but like you mainly put this in the microwave, but I take it out and season it and put Parmesan on it and everything and plop it in the oven. Um, and it comes out really good. And also, we are gonna have for another side, we're just gonna have um, mashed potatoes. This is Dustin's favorite one. So we're gonna have that. But I'm not gonna cook that until like, a little bit before the salmon gets done. Um, so I'm gonna have Dustin hold this camera and angle it wherever my hands are and everything, wherever the food is. But, um, so I am going to get started and let's just hop into the video. So we are gonna bake it at 350. And now it's just preheating while we're gonna, these are the pans we're using. So this is for the salmon and the asparagus right here. And this is the seasoning that I use for usually for my salmon and for the asparagus. So I'm gonna see the salmon real quick and see if I'm still gonna use a little bit of this. I'm not positive, but this is what I usually use for my salmon and asparagus. And like I said, this is the salmon. I also use this olive oil, it's just light tasting olive oil for, um, to basically marinate, we're well not marinate, but um, cover, cover the um, asparagus for the seasoning to like make sure it sticks on there. That's what I use that for. So now we're just gonna lay the salmon, which smells amazing by the way. All right, I'm gonna ask Dustin his opinion if I should add some of my seasoning. Nope. All right, great. So we're not gonna add any seasoning on here. It smells so good, by the way. So like, just, just a tip for you guys. Go to Martin, see if your Martin's has those because it smells so good. All right, now we're gonna open this bag of asparagus. And I'm just gonna lay them out on the tray. These aren't been there in a while, so they're a little bit frozen, as you guys can see. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna take the olive oil and just drizzle it on there, and then I'm gonna mix them all together. The asparagus also cooks at 350, in case y'all were wondering. So I cook this and the, the salmon at the same time. Just covering all the asparagus in that oil so the seasoning sticks on. Oh, I also use, like I said, Parmesan for the asparagus. Um, I was bad and left out the Parmesan. So let's hope that it doesn't get a stick, basically. So, now I'm gonna add some of the seasoning again. So if y'all can't read that, it's pink, pink Himalayan salt with black pepper and garlic is what it is all mixed together and it's it's just really good all right let's mix it again together and then i'm going to just top it off with some parmesan cheese All over. 
All right. All right. Okay guys, so this is the layout for what I did. Um, so this is the salmon. Um, I was gonna say before I would do like just the seasoning, so I would show you again what I usually do, but literally it's just what I did with that, except adding the Parmesan, and I just do the top part. And also we use this lemon, instead of just getting regular lemons, we just grab this lemon juice and pour it, put it on top of the salmon, which we might do tonight. Um, and then I also put it on the, aspar the asparagus, and it smells no, not smells, but it does smell good. But like it tastes really, really good. Um, and how I even got on to cooking asparagus is Dustin's been getting it. And I never used to like asparagus besides one time where my sister's husband's um, husband's father made grilled asparagus and it was like really good. And so I looked up recipes to like cook the asparagus because like I don't like just cooking in the microwave. I just want to be like fancy about it. And then I found this recipe that mainly was just involving like the Parmesan. And I was like, well, I want to see how it tastes with like the seasoning I put on the salmon because it's like really good. And so I tried it and we loved it the last time I made it like this, plus had adding the lemon juice on top of it. It's just really good. Um, and then like I said, over here, we're just gonna have um, another side of um, mashed potatoes. And I'm just gonna make that when it, the salmon gets closer to being done. So, and this takes about like, I don't even know, like five minutes, not even. So, um, but yeah. So I will see you guys when that happens. And if I forget to film it, then you'll just see the final product. All right, bye guys. All right guys, we're gonna do the mashed potatoes now. Um, as you guys can see, I already boiled, pre-boiled the water, so I'm gonna turn this off and move it. Immediately open this and pour it in. Dustin, can you grab me a spoon, please? Nope. Instant mashed potatoes, definitely, you know, are definitely instant. So we usually add some um, salt and pepper in here. Majority of pepper, but a little bit of salt. Me and Dustin are both pepper people. Um, we definitely like a lot more pepper than salt um, in our mashed potatoes. And we're also gonna add a little bit of milk. So Dustin, would you like to pass the milk, please? I normally add butter, but... I forgot to add the butter, but it's fine. Um, I didn't add butter the last time we ate mashed potatoes either. Add a little bit of that. I forgot the butter these last two times. I made butter, well, made it with butter one night, and I actually let the butter melt in the, um, in the water when it was boiling. That's how I melted the butter. So usually I don't put it in there to begin with. Um, I'm gonna add some a little bit of salt. And majority of the pepper. And like I said, this is the baby red smashed potatoes. This is Dustin's favorite one. Um, we picked some up the other day. And we have a few minutes left on the salmon and everything, but this takes about like five minutes to set. So it's nice and, you know, fluffy or whatever. Dustin likes it a little bit liquidy, but I don't. <laughs> I like mine with butter, buttery. I like my mashed potatoes yellow. And my mom just did, I don't even know what she did, honestly. I think she just, do the bare minimum. My mom wasn't, my mom's not really a cook very much. Um, so she didn't really cook very much. When when she did, it wasn't that good. <laughs> All right, watch out. Let's give them a peek at the okay. food. That's what it's looking like right now. There's the asparagus and there's the salmon. Oh, it smells good. Right, doesn't it smell good? Um, we're gonna check the salmon thoroughly after 13 minutes. I'm hoping it'll be done by 13 minutes because those aren't as thick as our last salmon. So, I cooked the last salmon for like 15 minutes. So, now we're just gonna put these back and that's it. And we'll see you guys when it's done. 
All right, guys, so it looks pretty good. So we're just gonna turn this off and I'm going to set it down on the counter. So, the asparagus. She doesn't set it directly on the counter, no, just so you guys but know. I put a thing right under it. And then the salmon, which smells amazing, by the way. Okay, there's that. It smells now we're really just good. Prep the food. If you could smell it, you'd be like, mmm. Okay, so I'm gonna do. I always play Dustin's. I do you want that one? This one? Yeah. You would. That was the one I wanted. I want a thin one. I don't wanna accidentally. Yeah, of course. You're gonna kill me. That's cool. And then give him half of the asparagus. I don't wanna be in the toilet all day at work. Okay. Save room for the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna put mine. Okay, make room for the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna go over to the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna plate mashed potatoes on here. All right, and there it is, all plated, guys. And there's Bentley's. Yeah. Well, he doesn't eat fish, so we made him some honey chicken. Honey chicken. Um, we tried to have him try asparagus before. He didn't like it. Um, we might give him some mashed potatoes. So, but but that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little cook with me video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.